Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Priscilla Fung. And I'm Maureen Milanes. Today is Tuesday, March 3rd, and we're here with your morning announcements. Before we start, let's hear from MSA for your informational fact. According to the UN, the Chinese government has launched a mass surveillance program that disproportionately targets Uyghur Muslims. The Chinese government responded to not targeting any minority group, but rather extremism and terrorism. There, there is an estimated 3 million Uyghurs interned in camps since 2007, and more than 85 identified camps within Xinjiang. The Chinese government long denied that the camps existed, but after images of camp construction with watchtowers and barbed wire fences emerged, the government acknowledged them as re-education centers. Members of this Muslim minority say that they were interrogated, beaten, and interned, not re-educated. Former inmates also reported that the camps were overcrowded and unsanitary. Also, according to BBC News, leaked Chinese government documents include a memo sent out to those who run the camps. The memo includes an order to increase discipline and punishment of behavioral violations and to promote repentance and confession. Term 3 textbooks need to be turned in as soon as you no longer need them. If you need Term 3 textbooks to study for your finals, make sure you turn them in immediately after finals. Novels check out from the library will also be due. Check the back of the novel where the librarian stamp the due dates. AP textbooks are not due after AP test. The library will only be open for textbook returns next week. Attention BSU members, if you're attending the BSCU conference this weekend, there will be a mandatory meeting March 5th during both lunches in HB10. Seniors, if you are planning to attend BA, it is on April 18th at Hagen Goss Golf Course from 7 to 11 p.m. Tickets are on sale at the student store for $85 and must be purchased by April 3rd. Guest pass are now on sale at the student store and online. The application must be turned into VB's office by March 27th at 3.30 p.m. Some reminders, you must have your actual student ID to get in, and your Synergy ID will not work for the scanners. Also, students will not be let in after 8 p.m. and cannot leave before 10 p.m. We look forward to an awesome dance you will remember for the rest of your life. See you there. Hey Wolfpack, did you know that between the 2014 and 2018 midterm elections, California's youth voter turnout rose 20 percentage points. Today, March 3rd, California will participate in the presidential primaries on a day known as Super Tuesday. COLs will have tables open at both lunches outside of HN4 for you to participate in a mock primary election. Come out to participate and register to vote. Freshmen and sophomores, are you interested in joining the National Honor Society? Come get more information March 11th in the MP room from 3.30 to 4. Applications can be picked up in HB10, student services, or downloaded from the COHS calendar. Applications will be due March 27, 2020, no exceptions. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Corbin, HB10, or Ms. Johnson, HB6. You will find help in the Student Access Center in CRC, room L125. Remember that you will need to create both parents and student FSA IDs before getting there. If you need more instructions, please look at the Synergy email by Vicky Coldwell with more information on the subject. Now let's throw it over to RJ and Horace for your sports report. How's it going, Wolfpack? I'm RJ Omega. And I'm Hada Sakim. Welcome to your sports update. In school sports news, the men's baseball team won against Madura on Saturday, 1-0. Good job, guys. Their next game is tomorrow at home against Oakmont at 3.30 p.m. Good luck. The women's softball team has an away game against Tracy today at 3.30. The men's varsity tennis team has a home match against Elk Grove on Thursday at 3.30. Be sure to come out and support. In professional sports news, among the NBA's short-term recommendations to teams in the wake of the coronavirus outbreak, players should utilize fist bumps over high fives with fans and avoid taking items such as pens, balls, and jerseys to autograph, the NBA announced yesterday. Los Angeles County Sheriff Alex Villanueva said eight deputies allegedly took or shared graphic photos of the Kobe Bryant helicopter crash scene, but he ordered them deleted. Villanueva said the sheriff's department doesn't have a specific policy about taking photographs on personal cell phones, but he plans to change that situation and would like to see a state law making it illegal to take unauthorized photos of accident scenes depicting dead bodies. Villanueva told KABC-TV that the deputies are facing an investigation and possibly disciplinary action. He wouldn't specify the kind of actions they might face. Well, that's it for your sports update, Wolfpack. I'm RJ Omega. And I'm Hara Sakib. See y'all Thursday. Thursday. Thanks, guys. AP Chemistry Review Sessions will be held in HP1 after school beginning this <coughs> month. The schedule for review sessions is posted on the window at HP1. If you would like to take a particular practice test, please RCP on the sign-up sheet on the door to HP1 so Mr. Comer can make sure he has a copy for you. These practice tests cannot be taken home. 
Halo Pack Thursday, March 5th is the instrumental chamber concert where you will hear solos, duets, small ensembles, and many more from our talented band students at 7 p.m. in the PAC. Are you interested in programming, self-driving cars, or electronics? Then the ACRT is perfect for you. Our goal is to program and race many self-driving cars from MIT. No prior programming experience is required. If you are interested, please attend our meetings on Tuesdays from 3.15 to 4.30 in HF2 or contact Ms. Hale for more information. Before we go, let's check out the Hype Showcase. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Irene Milanes. And I'm Priscilla Fun. Remember, the strength of the pack is a wolf. And the strength of the wolf is a pack. Happy, Happy World Wildlife, Wildlife Day, Wolf Pack.